I am Tom Sturridge. She's generally in the background farting while I'm farting. <laughs> oh, Tom's gonna be a, a huge, huge star. I think so. I'm, you know, a million dollar smile. And so it was like, hey, I love the film. And uh, when I heard there was this new bloody kid on the block, uh, a guy called Tom Sturridge. And I thought, I'd like to work with that guy. You know, million right. dollar smile. Um, and a random fact. Uh, I have a brother and sister. A film called Waiting for Forever. She's very beautiful. I think, I think that the girls, the way that they'll be looking at Tom, they'll be, be looking short. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, Any tips for this man, uh, Tom? I, uh, I, I, I think he can, he can break new ground. Yeah? I think he can do on his own. Wow. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I met Paul McCartney. <laughs> Sorry. That's talent. That's a lot of talent. Yeah. That's true. That's a hot talent. You're right. <laughs> Tallulah Tal has her own band, um, which you should probably be talking about. Then. What? Is he his band? I, I, don't, I don't think he's articulate enough, as I am proving um, during his interview uh, to be a DJ. <laughs> Tallulah Riley band. Tallulah's being modest in LA. Like she and uh, actually a Dutch guy, Pierce. Pierce. Brother Riley. I'm gonna be controversial and go with rocked. <laughs> so they, I'm being serious, there's, there's, it's, like, it's like a saxophone based band in which she yodels. <laughs> My thin evolved. I, I had it when I was like told it was about seven and then... And you lost it. It was a rapid yeah. evolution from seven to ten. It was like we call it, in America, we call it the puberty... puberty yeah, yeah, yeah. Puber version, ver version. People change, you know? Now I say sex. Dare you say yeah, sex? I, I just did. You did? <laughs> wow. It's been early for so sex. Now, you also had some funny scenes where you had to have uh, sex in like these tiny little cabins, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you say that's funny. I, I prefer, like, deeply erotic. Who do you uh, really find attractive that shouldn't? I really will. <laughs> um, listen, I mean, I, any time you're asked to kiss a beautiful girl is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yes. no, no, it was. No, it, absolutely. It, it, it was, was it because was of me. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> what about them? Has your mum ever caught you in the act? No. Tom? No, but someone else's mum has. It was great because, as I said, we've known each other forever, so it was sort of like um, kissing your... Sister. ...brother. But which is something that, you know, apparently can be pleasurable, so it was good. <laughs> no, I don't think I would ever, ever even remotely get close to any idea of doing that in real life. <laughs> Um, do some, do some of your drums. Not now. Oh, I think you should. I can't. Okay, fair enough. I'll do the drums, you do the bass. Yeah, you do both and I'll listen. Um, it's the best music that's ever been made. So, wow. That's, I, I think that's fair. Really. He's the captain of the Irish rugby team, this won't mean anything to you. But he was standing behind him and I literally had to push Paul McCartney aside. While this thing I've ever done, um, I, I, I ordered a salad nissoise today for lunch. It's one of those things you want to do before you die. Did that that might not have gone down too well with Paul. Paul doesn't like me. I'm not going to lie. We're not going to be having dinner anytime soon. You, have you shot that yet? Yeah, I just finished. I do know when it's coming. You shot that yet? What's your What's the most cringeworthy name you've ever called your lover? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. Oh god. Um, baby. baby. Where are you from in America? New York. Really? Are you never been to London? So close. Yeah. Wow, you, you can know. swim. I, well, I could. Um, you die. I, I'd say there was some great outtakes uh, <laughs> in this movie that were probably left on the, on, on the floor at the director's office. Uh, Most of Chris's part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't Perhaps. like fruit. You're, you're sort of retreating and finding your dark side. I am. Prepare. This is um, your Joker, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does anyone Skype? Skype's terrifying. It's like talking like, to someone in prison. Did you ever have a film? Uh, I didn't have a film. No. I had wings. The kind of notion of pirate radio is, you know, drum and bass in some estate flat in some London. Loves drum and bass. I do, I do love it. Skiers. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> what age? Oh, you cut them? Well, they, I, I flew too like close to the sun and they melted. Mm -hmm. They were made of honey. It was lovely to work with, I mean, so many kind of incredibly talented men. And Tom, obviously. Who and was. Tom. So many no. incredibly talented <laughs> men and Tom. I meant because wow. no, no, you're, no, you're no, a talented no. you're a talented. So an Oscar winner into the mix. Yeah, he was he was He didn't let us forget he was an Oscar winner. Oh my <laughs> gosh. It's just a bunch of fools pretending to make film really.
He would do this thing, which I always found a little odd. I've had many animals lick my face. <laughs> he'll, he'll have the Oscar, and he'll just kind of wave it at me. Strumming some crap in the corner. So what he's suggesting is that whatever you're doing will never be as good as what I did to get this. Yes, you are. <laughs> and then he had made little hats and, and booties and things. The Oscar. Oscar. You can't get it cold. It just, they don't. They, they don't, don't age well. Those things. Naked, you know. Yeah. What? Do you ever have a brush with like a famous rock star? A brush with a famous rock star? What, like shared a brush? And, <laughs> and he would change the clothes mid scene. No, like, like that or. Oh, right. I was like, no. Regardless of you know, and and Richard would be like, it looks, it looks weird. You're changing clothes on an Oscar. Because you're not going to eat the fucking aeroplane food, are you? Right. <laughs> well, you've got to eat other people. Because it's, it's not period. It's not period. Yeah. How did you get back in the atmosphere? Um, because you were in space, right? No, I, I mean, it, it was just too close to the sun, in, you know, relatively. It might be a little bit more fun. Yeah. Then again, hitting a rock and drowning, or uh, just feeling a bit seasick. Um, so right. I just fell. I fell from a great height. Um, is it usually you three that go around together, the three amigos? Yeah, okay, well, we like to think of ourselves as the three that said yes. <laughs> your character talks about how the closest you've come to a snog is like the, uh, a horse yeah. licks your space. Pretty much exactly lifelike. And what was it that brought you uh, what in, or interested you in the movie in the first place? The script or working with the cast? Or the big working with Richard Curtis. Curtis. <laughs> what? Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -mm. Uh. Tom, is there any uh, fruit you can't help but find erotic? Erotic? I actually, I don't eat fruit. I hate fruit. How'd you get your five a day? Uh, just vitamin C and uh, a little tomato juice. <laughs> What's the name? Maisie McNeese. Maisie McNeese? Maisie McNeese? I don't buy those at all. Maisie McNeese? Okay, no, I'll take that back. So you were not a huge Beatles fan? No, I, I was, but um, Irish rugby is <laughs> very important to me. Yeah. I remember Nick fishing a lot and people filmed it. And um, how do you, 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 once ran away and we climbed illegally into a garden in Notting Hill, just like in another Richard Curtis film, Notting Hill, so. That is true. That's true. So. It was wild. It was great. <laughs> Next yeah. summer, uh, Frost Goes Fishing, it's called. <laughs> It's uh, a really good film. Yeah. Think of uh, Notting Hill, uh, foppy haired, um, plum tongued actors who uh, stole the patrol <laughs> streets. Don't point at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, but, no, what, no. what part shocked you? <laughs> I put the early, early morning show just so I didn't have to. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't have many listeners. <laughs> I could die in the next 13 hours on this flight, and that would be fine. Yeah, it's the second favorite. Second, second favorite website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, There you go. <laughs> um, so I've been mentioned quite a lot, quite a lot, quite a lot. So you, you try not to think about what's been left behind and just think about the wondrous things that I've made. <laughs> <laughs> That's so beautiful. <laughs> Where I played Shakespeare's lover. Wow. Um, check it out, BBC4. Um, <laughs> No. I kind of end as a young, naive, innocent boy. It's not, it's not a great art. Bonding, I think they call it. That is my, that's my main experience of any kind of human intimacy.